Hello, hello, everybody. I hope you guys can hear me and see me okay. If you can, please give me a thumbs up before I get talking, okay? <laughs> I see Susie is in the house. Hello, Susie. I see Judy is in the house. Hello, Judy. And I see Day is in the house. Hello, Day. I'm just waiting for a thumbs up if you can see and hear me. Everything looks and sounds good. Thank you so much, Day. So we can go ahead and get started. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, it is your girl, Stephanie, a.k.a. Sassy Steph of Memoirs of a Long Arm Quilter. And today is Tuesday, guys. Tuesday, September 12th. Your girl's birthday come up real, real soon on the 27th. So mark your calendars because we're going to have fun on, I don't know what day that is on. You know, I don't know what day my birthday is on this year. I haven't looked at it. It's just too far in advance. The 27th is soon upon us, but it's still too far in advance. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what day it's on, but don't tell me either because I need to, um, I don't want to, to lose focus, but yeah, today is a day we are finally going to start quilting on this baby right here. I'm already going to tell you right now, we're probably only going to get to one section of feathers. And that's what we're going to be starting off with. I want to do the one side and then I'm going to go turn around on the other side and do the other part of the half circle. If you hear Benson scratching, it's because I locked him out and he's scratching to get in. Um, he's such a turd. <laughs> He's such a turd. But anywho, I want to say hey to um, Linda. Thank you so much for coming as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. I am. I had to get some, I had to get some, some prayers, y'all, because your girl is nervous. <laughs> I am nervous about this, but it's going to be okay. Now, I recall saying a while back before my hiatus that this was going to be the year. I believe it was this year. It could have been last year. But anywho, I wanted to get feathers down before the end of the year. I haven't done much with feathers since making of the making of that video. Um, so I'm just going to go for it. I want to do it. Um, what's going to happen? The worst case scenario is that they're going to look awful. <laughs> They're going to look awful, but that's okay because guess what? That, I'm going to do my very best as of today, okay? And that's going to have to be good enough. I say that with my heart. I know it with, with every fiber of my being, but my brain is stuck somewhere in the world of perfection, and I'm not there. No, no. Uh, huh. I don't know the one who is, okay? But my motto is I'm not striving for perfection. I'm striving to be consistently good. And today it's going to be good enough, okay? So let me get my... Um, hmm. Oh, here it is. One second. Let's walk off camera to get my phone tripod so I can go ahead and still look at the chat. I did have some music playing earlier so I can get in a mindset. It may not go, it might not work there. But remember I did tell you I found my camera so we're gonna go change the, the view. So hopefully you guys can see the camera in camera. Let's see if it's working. Take this down. I'm rolled in my chair. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, it's working. Let's see. Hi, Beverly. Quilt Queen 22. Thank you so much. She said, you got this. Yes, I got this. 
Hey, Angel. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> no, I'm not. We're good. We're good. Woo. Okay, ladies, gents, if you're in here, my husband is probably watching because he was like, baby, you got this. You got this. Okay, how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to start on the outside of this arc first so I can get my rhythm down. Okay, wait a minute. Something is... Something is blocking all of a sudden. Hold on. That first one. Don't look at that one. Yardsticks. Let's talk about you have a long arm. Yardsticks can be your best friend, especially if you have clamps on the side. I do have a clamp on the side right here, and it hit my ruler table. I have my ruler table installed because i will be doing some slight ruler work and it just hits this so what i'm going to do is with this yardstick i'm going to lift up my clamps so it will be riding above above my ruler table and i and i just thought about that so what i'm going to do isn't that sad? The very first stitch we're about to rip out because that look a hot mess. But that's okay. We're ripping it out. Oh, that didn't sound so good, but it's okay. Yeah, no. I can't leave that in there. That, that, that looks atrocious. <laughs> I'm like, what, what am I hitting? What am I hitting? Okay. It'll take a second. Thank goodness it's a small, a small feather and it was nowhere near as big as I needed it to be. I probably should have had already started um, that stitch, but that's okay. But now I know. But yes, I don't know who taught me that trick with the yardsticks because they, they ride against on your bars. Now I know there is a way to uh, remove stitches on camera. You know, all things go out your head and you just forget everything, but there is a quicker way to remove stitches. I do know it. Why, why I didn't do it is beyond me. But that's okay. We're gonna get this. I refuse. Not to. Now it's a challenge. Come on, come on. And because I hit it, the stitches got really, really tiny. I am using 11 inches per um, stitch inch. I mean, 11, yeah, 11 stitches per st stitch inch. Okay. Now, I already quilted my spine. So that is what you see already. Let me get this right here. This backing, what are we saying? I'm always, I'm always on your side. We had one perfect person on this earth and we crucified him. You don't want to be perfect, especially after taking a break, right? <laughs> Lord have mercy. True angel, yes, I just got here and I'm learning something already. I am too scared to use rulers. Oh, I'd rather use rulers because they are, um, it's almost like a safety. Let me cut this. It's like a safety for me, but it's just like using a pantograph. I can use those, I don't have problems, or the computer, I can use that and don't have a problem. When it comes to free motion quilting, your girl got, she's scared. She real scared. Okay, here we go. Okay, now 
I am going to, because I'm right in a ditch, I'm just setting my um, stitch. I'm just going to put my thread back here. Now, the stitch line you can see right here. Now, I also have registration marks right here and right here on both sides. I have one on both sides of the um, spine. And what it's going to do is create like a sashing or a border for me. And um, sorry if the camera is moving. I just had to get it out of my way. It creates a border for me. So my goal is to come close to those. As you see, I was way over here and my registration is way over here. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is slowly walk up this spine right here because I'm not in a position I want to be in. This is horrible already. Okay. But we're not going to worry about that. You know I want to take these stitches out, right? But I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, because it, I feel that I'm going to get better as I go. But I am running into another situation, I believe. I'm not doing a very good job on tracing, back backtracking. Slow down, Stephanie. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. There you go. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. I started off a hot mess, and once I started to slow down, I started to feel better about it. Now, are all of them looking good? No, but it's going to be good enough to keep it keep it in. What I'm doing is just going back down to my starting point. And I'm going to stitch in the ditch to get to where I need to be. Okay. Oh, so pretty, beautiful. Looks good to me. That stuff is hard for me. Looks good to me. Thank you guys so much for the encouragement i can follow a pantograph but not to do anything with fancy rulers is rita honey i am this is all foreign to me but you know what we're i'm i'm 
I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. And because it's going to be a lot of feathers in here in this quilt, like I said, I'm just starting. So I'm hoping that by the time it's all said and done, these feathers are going to look amazing. Because <laughs> I want to come back, bounce back. So maybe if I start at the top here and work my way down. That one didn't do so hard. Now with this one, because it's on the inside, hmm. slow down. You're not in a race. You're not in a race. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. just broke a thread why I don't know I don't know what caused that let's pick up my needle trim machine is not running <sighs> of course Okay. That needle caught my thumb. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick up these last couple of stitches because they're they weren't even forming stitches. The stitches weren't forming, so I want to take those out. Oh, I felt like I was just about to start making some good one, better ones anyway. <laughs> but that's okay. And then I'm going to show you how I bury my thread. And because I know I cannot um, guarantee that I can um, stitch back over those, I'm just not gonna even try <laughs> okay this is where i can start right here i just want to bring my bobbin thread up i want to bring it up come on baby i know i know oh i just popped it but it's way over here Okay, what I'm going to do now is move that out of the way and try to drop my needle right back in the last couple of stitches. Okay, and pick up. Good shot, good shot. Okay. Again, I need to anchor, so I'm just going to make a couple of stitches in place. And then I'm going to go for it. It's not the cutest feather, but that's okay. Okay, now you guys can see this line right here, right? Ah, I didn't even hit that feather, but that's okay. That one has a hook in it, but we're not, I'm not going to cry about it. Oh, 
I just wanted to give it some kind of movement. Slow down, Stephanie. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. There you go. Slow down. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, oh, help me, Father. Um, I want to try to echo. And the reason why I want to do that is because when I make my filler, When I do my swirls in my other designs, I want it to have a place to rest. You know, give some kind of separation. And in my head, if I feel the need to go fast, but I need to take this slow, I'm in a race with no one. This is going to be an issue on this side. Hold on one second. What I need to do is bring this quilt up some so I can... Um, reach here i'm having a trouble because i didn't give myself enough room for that to um so what i need to do is advance the quilt and then i'm gonna come to the chat right after right after guys right after i promise i just want to get make sure i give myself enough room to to do this part and I'm putting my my uh, magnets right back on <clears throat> excuse me okay now I can go ahead and finish my going Slow down, Stephanie. Slow down. I say slow down, and I still feel like I'm, I've sped it up times 10. <laughs> Looks good to me. This stuff is so hard. Looks good to me. No blood on the quilt, <laughs> right? Hello. Hey, Nancy. Thank you so much for coming. That is tedious. Yes, it is. Rita, do you find it easier on one side than on the other? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Did I miss anything? Um, hey, Dinah, thank you so much for coming. Oh, Stitch by Susan uses the yardstick. She does. Okay, Teresa, that's good to know. I, um, I don't know. Well, I know when I had my training, they were like, you know, that would, get something to help lift those up. And then I want to say it could have been um, when I had, I learned it definitely back in 2014, right when I first got my long arm, my um, first one, which was a handy quilter. Okay, that's that one for that feather. Now, how am I feeling about this? Oh my gosh. Still nervous, but am I, I'm, I'm gonna be okay with, with this. I'm, I'm okay with it. Let me show you guys how I bury my threads. I think I have my camera here. I'm just gonna snip it right here. I have a self, a self threading needle. 
which means it has a open end on this side right here. And I always put it in at the base of, well, first I, I knot what I'm, I'm about to unbury. I put a small knot in it. A small knot. And that way, if I do it now, I won't have to worry about doing it later. Make it really, really tight. And then at the base of this knot, I'm going to stick my needle. Now, this is how I do it. Now, you might have your own technique on how you do it, but this is how I do it. And I'm making sure that I'm not all the way through the quilt. I'm just in the layer, the middle layer between the top and the batting. Don't go all the way through because you don't want to see it on the back side. Then you'll hear a pop. You hear that pop? And then I just push it through. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. And this one decided to want to play with me. Okay, come on. I need you to come through. Oh, so you didn't you didn't want to play. Okay. Let me snip this one. And then in washing it'll go through and then I'll, this one was being stubborn. I'm just gonna pull it through. Do the same, repeat the process. Just go in a different spot. And pull it through. Okay, I have a couple of others over here, but I will do those off camera because you guys didn't come to see all that. You came to see some feathers, some feathers in motion. Let's get this party started. Oh, excuse me. I thought I was off camera. You guys had to see me, my allergies. I'm still down here. I have all of my... um. Hand sanitizer. I have all of my um, studio cleaned up except one side. And that's the side that where the chickens were on. Now I didn't do the spine on this one, so let's go ahead and do the spine. I'm just taking my ruler that I use to make the lines and this is a quilted pineapple ruler this is the number 15 and what i'm going to do is just set my thread i'm going to anchor it pull it up because i'm going to set my ruler right next you know on that line and it's just giving me a little head start And the only thing I'm doing is, <clears throat> excuse me, is that I'm just guiding my ruler along. Now, does it matter which side I'm going to use to um, guide on? No, it really doesn't. It's just, it depends on what's comfortable for you. Now, this right here will seem more comfortable to me because I can push my presser foot up against the ruler to make sure that I'm not venturing off. So I can do that. I'm just making sure that I stay, you know, close to the line. And if I have to move the ruler, just move the ruler. Now, is it gonna mess up, mess me up terribly if I don't go 100% on the line? Of course not. This is your quilt, make it your quilt. This 
See, I'm off the line a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's okay. It is okay. Okay. My spine is made. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The camera is going to jolt if you guys didn't see that. Let me go back down. Okay, I want to start right here. Again, I'm going to start on the side that's closest to me and see how we do. This cable on this on camera is driving me nuts. <clears throat> I love to feel the pop. Halo said, Angel says, it's my favorite. <laughs> You're smart to do it on the frame. I always wait till I pull it up, pull it, but then I have a million to bury. Yes, and that's how it usually goes to me, especially when I'm working on something. I'll be like, oh my gosh, what in the world? Why didn't I do that as I was going along the way? That's right, the line goes away. No one's going to see that. Okay, Stephanie, let's go slow. Breathe in. You got this, okay. Um, now I did not, what I, let me show you how I did mark the, um, the lines because I want to make sure I don't go, you know, too far out. So I just started doing some, some small registration marks as to how far out I want to make these feathers. I don't want them too, too big, you know? And then let's see, that'd be a good inside feather. And I'm just making some registration marks to give me a guide as to how I want these feathers to be. Okay, go. Slow down. Slow down. A fat one, slow down, Stephanie. I don't know what that one was, but that's okay. Slow down.
Yowza. <laughs> she, I can definitely tell you. You know, you have you picture things in your head. In your head, everything is spot on perfect. You don't I don't dream. I don't dream in my skill set. I dream in my <laughs> I dream in my what I, I what I want to see. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy! That is funny to me. I like I dream in Technicolor. Slow down. I don't know what this kind of feather was. <laughs> Too long of a feather. Okay, now I can tell you, let me cut this thread. What I don't like is these two big feathers. I tried to create movement. Yeah, they didn't work for me this time, but that's okay. I, I still don't see me taking it out because I was trying. I was trying to do something different, but I was trying to make it look like it was moving. I don't think they, I should have went so far back but i'll try it again on another one so but that's that feather and you already seen the other one so let me go ahead and echo this one oh sorry i hit the camera That's why I love my channel because it's memoirs of a long arm culture. I'm taking you guys on this journey as I'm learning all this stuff. Yes, yeah, she says, she says, slow down, Stephanie, slow down. You're doing great. Um, I understand that when you see what you see in your mind is what you, you and what you get are totally different. Yes. Looks good. The big feathers looks like they are blowing in the wind. Thank you, Judy. How do they do want something? <laughs> Let's echo these babies and we'll be done for the night, okay? I am super excited. I'm going to tell you guys, I was so full of anxiety because I know my skill set with this stuff and it's not... Slow down, Stephanie. It's not um, where I would love it to be. But what I can do is have this quilt as a reference and say, this is the first quilt that I put feathers on of mine. 
that was not a part of a class and that once it's all said and done in the grand scheme of things, I think it's still going to look fabulous. Start on this end. Okay, I have two feathers done. <laughs> Guys, that was, now that I'm, I can breathe, I'm hoping and I'm praying that the more I do it, the more comfortable I will feel and the better they'll come out. So, yeah, because this has, the next one is a feather vine that goes all the way up. And I loaded it on its side for continuity easy where I can just continue and not have to stop and start if I would have had loaded it the you know, the way that it will hang on a wall. So I loaded it um horizontally, I believe that's what I want to say. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. She said she's doing a happy dance, y'all. I am so, so happy. I'm sorry, I'm hitting the microphone. Jesus, that probably hurt y'all ears. But, um, yeah. So, guys, that is it on tonight. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> You've been so good to me. <laughs> Um, now, did they come out as atrocious as I thought they were? No. Did they come out as how I imagined them to be? Heck no. <laughs> but today, this was the absolute best that I can do. I have to be mindful to slow down. Stephanie, slow down. As you heard me kept saying to myself, slow down. I'm not in a racing it with anyone. You're racing against yourself. Slow down. So what I'm going to do is as I'm working on it on my own in my own time too is to make sure that I put on something slow like something classical. Um Dappy T, um he does worship music and it's all instrumental. I will put that on and blast it out and um just listen to the rhythm, a nice slow rhythm to keep me going in the speed that I need to be doing. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna come out, um, you know, it's still gonna be very a very pretty quilt when it's all said and done. And so guys, if you don't have any questions or anything like that, just um, put it down in the chat. I did mention my birthday is coming up on September 27th. I'm super duper excited about it. <sighs> I don't know. I, I know we're going to do something special that week, okay, guys? I don't know what it is yet. I will be doing something special, so stay tuned. Bring your mama them, your friends them, and all of them next, well, in a couple weeks. <laughs> so, yeah. Until the next live, which will be Monday, and what we'll be working on during that time is a shirt. It will be in honor of um, sickle cell awareness. Um, if you don't know, I have two daughters, well, two daughters that have sickle cell disease. I have to say have, I have to say have had, you know, because I have a daughter who has full-fledged sickle cell disease and I have a daughter that passed from full-fledged sickle cell disease complications, okay? That's a mouthful. So I am going to make a, a, a shirt to commemorate that and um, we're going to bring awareness because it is Sickle Cell Awareness Month and it's also Childhood Cancer Month. I don't want to negate any other um, 
awarenesses that's happening in the month of September, but this one is close to me um, in, in my home. So yeah, come back with me on Monday and on Tuesday, we'll be working some more on this. Maybe we'll be working on this on Tuesdays until it's finished. I will be doing homework, getting some of it quilted out um, as we go, as I go along. I don't want to have this on the long arm for much longer, you know, so I have to make sure I am doing some homework with it. <laughs> Nancy, you share a birthday with my niece. Happy birthday. Thank you. So guys, that is it. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate your time on these nights. Oh, until the next time, guys, which I think I will be live with Donna Hamane Bayin on Thursday. I'm hoping to make it on there. I have a couple appointments that day. I'm hoping to make it on there because we are working on a foundation paper piece called Little Hooter. So I look forward to that. And you will be seeing, check out my community tab on here on YouTube because I will be posting some pictures. We have our quilt show this weekend. I am super excited because I have two quilts that will be entered into the competition well into the show so i will let you guys know more about that um how that turned out um next week so until next week guys i'll talk to you later bye bye